We got a ZX-14. We got All a right, so we got Shane on the far side in the Fox body. Who's he taking on, Mike? A, a Carly on a Gen 1 Kawasaki. All right, looks like the motorcycle is out in front. Can the Fox body run him down? It is! The motorcycle gets the win. All right, so beautiful burnout. We got a late model ZX-14 stretched lowered left lane. All right, Chevrolet Nova. And it looks like the Nova street. might drive around the bike. It is, oh, the motorcycle. Man, wait a second, oh, wait a second. Wait. Guess what? I think I think the bike went too fast. Seven tenths fast, Ray? Is that what you're saying? He went, He's trying he to tell you Seven tenths fast. All right, another motorcycle car matchup. Dan in the Chevrolet Corvette. Danny on the motorcycle. It is. Oh, Chevrolet Corvette. You want to pop your lid off? We'll talk about this. Come on up here and talk about this. Put your kickstand down. Ray, we need the actual numbers like in our hands. Like number 142. We're going to settle this. All right, oh, Michael turn around, Bielen. Turn around, turn around, turn around. It's only because you qualified with a, with a crap run, basically. I know the bike's beautiful and you're fast and that was a beautiful run, but because you qualified on a bad run, you just went way too fast compared to that bad run. But everybody has bad runs all the time. And they lose. And you didn't lose. All right. So what do you guys say? I'm out of here? You're out of here. I'm sorry. Man. All right. I'm sorry. Good. Take but, care, guys. Thank you for keeping your cool and explaining everything. Thanks, guys. So let's do some more interviews with some of the winners. What's your name, man? Corey Stavely, Cambridge. Cambridge in the house. How do you feel that pass went? Uh, that pass was pretty smooth, pretty consistent all day, doing the same thing. Track's nice and sticky. Got to give it up to the crew. No, no, you have to work on your bike here. You don't leave. We're going to hot lap you right now. Let's go. We're going to get these guys interviewed, and we're going to go racing again. So I'll yeah, decide this is, you're going to race. This is all out, man. This okay. is a hot lap. Appreciate your guys' time. Thanks for coming to Canada, putting on the show. Thank you for coming out and racing with us, man. I really appreciate it. I'm with Dan Morrison here and his uh, buff brother, <laughs> racing Corvettes. And uh, how did that go? Great, great run. Yeah. You're happy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Winning against these guys, very happy. Yeah, we discussed earlier about sandbagging and this and that, and uh, guess what? It came back to bite somebody. Oh, nice. That bike just, that bike just had to go home because he wasn't sandbag. He just qualified on a bad run. Okay, okay. I understand. But he just ran an 850. That's his best pass ever, so he's not that upset. Wow, you went an 850? He went an 850. I beat him. It, it, he went way too fast from his oh, qualifier. Okay, okay, okay. You have to stay with, within your qualifier. Okay? So we're going to get you going. Uh, I'm way within my qualifying time. Everybody at the, in this lane is. Yes, sir, you won. So right. we're going to get you going. So if you want to get suited up, we're going to run the next lap again. Who, uh, who am I running? I'll tell you when we get up there. <laughs> what's up, man? What's your name? Spirit of Spanos. Hey, what's up, man? Mike, having a good day? Amazing. Awesome day. So first of all, you're lucky you get your name picked, right? Yeah. And then you went around. So far. So two more and what? I hope so, man. $3,000. I'm going for it. That's a, that's a good day because these things really don't use parts. Not too many. <laughs> well, if, if everything stays inside, it's a $175 tire. True. That's awesome, man. Good luck. Thanks, man. Kick some butt. Right Love to see you out here. Gotcha, man. Thanks for the show. All right. Look at this thing. How you doing? What's your name? Lee Spear. Lee, this thing is bad to the bone, man. It's an LS motor? Yeah, it's a stock six liter. Stock six liter like out of a Tahoe? It's actually out of uh, Escalade. Escalade. And you got a hair dryer on here. Yeah, D1. Yep, Pro Turd. Okay, man. We're going to get ready to get back up there and make another lap. All right, so drivers, drivers, we need you to get your cars and your bikes back together. We need you back to the lanes. All right, so here we go. 
Murray on the motorcycle. And Jeff in that bed to the bone. Fox body. Sporting the beautiful charcoal paint job. Building up the boost in his bullseye turbo. And the motorcycle is out in front. Can the Mustang drive around him? It looks like the Mustang got him. All right, so I hear a supercharger under the hood. So somewhere over there is that, that Mustang. Incredible, probably a Vortec as it's whistling big time. Taking on, looks to be a nitrous fed Chevrolet Camaro. Into the beams. On the limiter. All right, they are neck and neck. Left lane, right lane, right lane. Out in front it is. The Mustang tower side. All right, so it looks like John Demetrio. We'll be getting the this lucky car five. is pretty fast. He's part of the Ontario Street Outlaws crew. This car hangs the wheel and rockets. Watch this thing go. What's your name, sir? Jeff Bloom. Jeff Bloom. You come here all the time? All the time. All the time. It's your home track. It is. This place is really, really nice. The people are genuine and the beer's cold. We're glad you're here. Well, I'm going to keep going down the line here. Thanks, man. Another Outlaw Street guy. I already talked to you already. Yes. How's it going? Me Good. again. So you won again? Yeah, I was close though. Yeah? Yeah. So you ready to go? There's like no maintenance. You check the tire pressure and back at it. He's just pretending to be busy back there, so I fit in, but there's really nothing else going on here. <laughs> That's a well-prepared racer, man. That's awesome. So good luck. Hope Thank to you. see you next round, man. Thank you very much. I'm with John D'Onofrio. You from here, John? I am. Yep. From Woodbridge. Woodbridge boy in the house. The car looked pretty good. You got lucky dog on that one. Oh, the guy, lucky. Yeah, the guy beside me gave me a little trouble when I started off, but then I finished him up. <laughs> <laughs> the racer X, the ghost yeah, racer. Yeah, the ghost racer for sure. Well, that's us. Takes a little pressure off. You're already in the second yeah. round. First round's the hardest, right? Always, always. So it's a smooth sailing all the way to the final? I hope so. Well, good luck. I hope to see you. Appreciate it. I hope to see you next round. Thanks, man. All right, gentlemen. Let's get suited up when we bring them around for the hot lap. What the hot lap is is the winners, they are not allowed to go back to the pit area. They must come to our staging area, and they are allowed four crew member. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so Trevor on the beautiful motorcycle. Take it on Lee with that shoebox Nova. Big tire Chevrolet. All right, so the motorcycle way out in front. Who's it gonna be? Motorcycle, it's good. All right, so a short burnout by the Corvette as it is getting hotter and hotter out today. The track is getting stickier. They don't need a big burnout. Into the beams. And I'll tell you what, the Corvette is out in front and it is the Corvette. The car gets the win. Here we go, into the beams. And it was an even start motorcycle way out front. Turbo Mustang, can he run him down at the top end? Turbo power, yes, the Mustang gets him incredible. John in the Camaro, Dean in the Mustang. Who's it gonna be? How many people wanna see Ford win? How many wanna see Chevy? All right, well, you're about to find out. All right, building the boost. Bumping in. Right to him. And they're neck and neck, right lane. It's the Ford ahead. Can the Camaro run him down? It is. The Ford gets the win. So I'll tell you, man, this hot lap, it's a tough game. It's not always the fastest, the quickest car that wins. 
It's the car that is well-rounded. It's the driver that is well-rounded. And we are moments from getting underway. Who can get their car the coolest? Let's go right now. Bikes, fire up cars. Let's go. Our final four. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, on the motorcycle, Trevor. Dan's back in that wild, crazy Corvette. Once again, a motorcycle car shootout. It's like Rock and Rob against Mike Beeland. Mike is just such a bike guy. Here we go. Right down. Ah, the motorcycle out in front. It looks like the Corvette's going to drive around him. Now the bike gets him. Listen. Car number 261's put down two bikes already. All right, into the beams, building the boost. They're up. Oh, it's right lane spun way out the tires. in front. Oh, oh, my God, did you see that? It spun the tires. He caught it and drove around the other guy. Oh, all right, all right. We need the drivers out of the car. I need the drivers up on the stage, man. We've got some stuff going on between the bike and the car. B-Land, stand next to the bike guy, man. Of course, they the smell better guy. than car guys. Come on, car guy. You've been kicking butt all day, man. Jeff Bloom, nice to meet you. Rock and Rob, man. Great driving, man. Tell us a little bit about your car. It's a PSP built uh, Hutch Tranny Power Glide, and that's all anybody knows about it. Is it Chevy Power or Ford? It's a Ford. It's a Ford. All right. All right. Um, so what are your thoughts going into uh, this hot lap segment? Well, the car was built for hot lapping, so we're good that way. Um, we just got to make a tr pass without spinning the tires. He's got to make a pass without spinning the tires. Mike, tell us about his opponent here in the final. Well, I, I got, mean, I got it, Trevor here, and he's only got seven inches of one-wheel drive versus whatever he's got over there. He's a, he's a ways a lot less, but let's talk about the turbo system you got on there. It's just a RCC Stage 1 on a stock motor. And the thing runs like a rock on the track. Yep. All right, good. Mike, Mike, I'm going to have to cut you off, man. The timing engineer, Ray McNew, ladies and gentlemen. Let's talk about the spread between the car and the bike. How close are they? Look at what he's running. This would be a good heads-up race. I think it would be a real good heads-up race. Heads up, the tree's going to win it. That's right. That's right. Sounds good to me. How do you feel about that? Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, here we go. You know, the bike guy's up there waiting, chilling out, and the car guy's still playing with his laptop. He's disqualified. He doesn't get up here right now. The timer's on. That was a that close was one, close. man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he even realizes it. He has no idea. Uh, oh, by the way, you can't run. The guy won $3,000 because it took too long to put your suit on. Wow, that was, that'd be terrible. Look at his right elbow ride. up, clutch hand in, ready to drop the hammer. Yeah, look at him. Here we go. Building the boost in the box body. Oh! Oh, he's Bikes out of the, the groove. Up. The bike got out of the groove. They are neck and neck and his head's up. Who's it going to be? Oh! It's the box body. The crowd goes wild. The Slimer got out of the groove right on the hit, spun the tire. He got a little sideways, got out of the groove, and the Austin actually stayed in the groove today. It's cash. All right, Jeff, come on up and collect your dough. You want this? <laughs> Bring it. I got it. Congratulations, you are our 16 champion. And Brian Basson, our producer. No, thank you very much. No, we, a little no, present for you? Yeah. Well, first of all, it's a nice present. $3,000. All Congratulations. Our and our great sponsors. We ran hard all day long. You know, put the effort in, signed up online just like everybody should to come one of these races. You hit it hard, you stayed in, you ran all out, you took out every competitor, and you won by eight feet. Eight feet. Congratulations from All Out Live. Big round of applause for our champ. Thank you. All right. Canada, Toronto Motorsports Park. Thank you guys.